In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaI plus PbNO3 2, sodium iodide plus lead 2 nitrate. First thing we need to do for net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. As we look at it, there are two nitrate ions here and only one here. So I'm just going to put a 2 in front of the sodium nitrate. That balances the nitrates. Now I have two sodium atoms. Put a 2 here. They're balanced. Two iodine atoms two iodine atoms, that's good, lead and a lead. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Sodium compounds, very soluble, A, Q, they'll be aqueous, dissolve, dissociate into ions. Nitrates, also very soluble. We have sodium nitrate, that's going to be soluble. And then when I see a lead compound, I'm often cautious. I want to make sure that we have the right state for this. Let's look this up. Let's look this up on a solubility chart. So we go down here and find lead and chloride. We go over and we see SS. That SS means slightly soluble. A little bit will dissolve, very little, but mostly it'll stay as a solid when we put it in water. For the purpose of net ionic equations, we consider that to be insoluble. So this lead to iodide, it'll be insoluble. It'll be a solid. And when we have these two substances react, our solid will form. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Sodium is in group 1, so it has a 1 plus ionic charge. Put 1 minus for the iodine there. Two sodium ions. And I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. Two iodide ions. And then for lead, we really have to look at what it's bonded to since it's a transition metal. So I know that the nitrate, the whole thing, has a 1 minus charge. There are two of them. Lead has to have a 2 plus charge. That's why we called it lead 2 nitrate. So I have the lead 2 ion, Pb2 plus, plus I have two nitrate ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have two sodium ions again and two nitrate ions. Plus we have this PBI2 and since it's a solid we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations so we just have PBI2. Now that's the complete ionic equation. So now we can cross out spectator ions on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In the reactants we have two sodium ions and in the products. Cross those out. Two nitrate ions again in the products. Cross them out. What's left that is the net ionic equation for NaI plus PbNO3 2. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium iodide plus lead 2 nitrate. You'll notice that charge is conserved. I have two negative charges, two positive charges. They cancel out neutral product. You'll also note that the atoms, number of atoms, are the same on both sides of the equation. Often the positive ion will be put first in net ionic equations. It doesn't really change anything, it just looks a little bit nicer. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for sodium iodide plus lead 2 nitrate. Thanks for watching.